Turkey's invasion, a catastrophe on an epic scale for the Greek Cypriot majority, was greeted by many of the Turkish minority as a deliverance. An extremist coup, sponsored by the then military dictatorship in Greece, had given Turkey a long-awaited pretext for intervention. The Turkish action led to the occupation of one-third of the territory of Cyprus, the proclamation of a separate Turkish Cypriot state, and the displacement of nearly 200,000 Greek refugees. Conflict between Greek and Turk goes back to the 1950s, when the Greek majority under Archbishop Makarios fought for an end to British rule and for union with Greece, Enosis. But for the 18% of Cypriots who were Turkish, Enosis meant simply changing one colonial power for a worse one. They sided with the British against the Greek Aoka underground movement. The British even formed a special police force made up of only Turks. To the Greeks, it was divide and rule. On the night of the 7th of June, 1958, the tension suddenly snapped. Cyprus has never recovered from that night. There was an explosion at the information bureau of uh, the Turkish uh, consulate. Uh, a crowd had already gathered there, a crowd of Turkish Cypriot youth. And they all almost immediately decided that Greeks had done it. And uh, they were uh, swearing vengeance uh, against the Greeks and so on. The explosion started a night of rioting in Nicosia. Turkish Cypriots burned and looted Greek shops and homes. Soon, Aoka counterattacked, and the fighting spread round the island. Greek and Turkish families, who had always lived as neighbors, now moved with all their possessions into separate areas. British soldiers put up barricades to keep the two communities apart. Partition was fast becoming a reality. For three years, two armies had been fighting a war. Now, ordinary people were being killed merely because they were Greeks or Turks. Later on, a friend of mine, whose name will still be kept a secret, uh, was to confess to me that he had put this little bomb uh, in that doorway in order to create a, an atmosphere of tension uh, so that uh, people would know that Turkish Cypriots mattered. The fighting raged for three months. More than a hundred were killed. In 1960, Britain granted independence, but not on Makarios' terms. He was forced to accept a constitution which safeguarded the Turkish Cypriot minority by giving them powers disproportionate to their numbers, including the right of veto. Britain, Greece and Turkey were to be guarantors. When Makarios tried to change the constitution just three years later, it was Turkey who said no. Thousands of Turkish Cypriots abandoned their homes and fled to Turkish enclaves. They armed themselves and established autonomy. Their own paramilitary organization, TMT, matched violence with violence. Makarios did not succeed in closing the rift between the two communities. In 1974, after the dictators then in power in Greece had tried to annex the island, Turkey invaded. Today, Cyprus is partitioned. 